If a custom report is missing or damaged in Sage 50 US edition, you can restore it from a backup you previously made of the company data where the custom report was present and working correctly. This video assumes that you made a backup of your company at some time when the report was working and that you know roughly when that backup was made. In this video, we will show how to extract a working reports file from a previous backup and restore just that file to your current Sage 50 data, leaving everything else about your current data untouched. The first thing you'll need to do is find your company data path where your current company data is saved. To find that in Sage 50 while your company is open, go to the Maintain menu, then select Company Information. Copy the information on the directory line, which is your company's data path. You can do this by either highlighting it, right-clicking on it, and selecting Copy, or by highlighting it and pressing Ctrl-C on your keyboard. Once you have the data path copied, close Sage 50 and go to Windows File Explorer. Then paste the data path into the address bar and press Enter to go to your company's data path. Once you are in your company's data path, look for the file rptdata.dat. Right-click on the file and select Rename. Then rename the file by adding old to the start of the file's name. This prevents the file from being used by Sage 50, but preserves its contents in case you need it again later. Next, locate the backup file that contains the custom report data you wish to restore. By default, backups are saved to the company data path, but you may choose to save them somewhere else. If you have backups saved to a different location, you will need to browse to that location to find your backup file. If you do have to browse to a different location, you may wish to do so in another File Explorer window, so that you can leave the company data location open, as you will need to return to it later. When searching for your backup file, keep in mind that all backup files end in .ptb. And while you can name them anything you like when you create them, by default, the backup file's name will be the company's name, followed by the date when the backup was created. Once you've located the backup that contains the data you wish to restore, right-click on it and select Copy. Then right-click on any blank space on your desktop and select Paste. This creates a copy of the chosen backup on your desktop so you can work on it more conveniently. You may safely remove this copy once all steps in this video are complete. On the desktop, right-click on the backup file and select Rename. Change the file extension, that is the last three letters of the backup's name, from .ptb to .zip. Do not change anything else about the backup's name. You may receive a warning from Windows asking if you're sure you want to rename the backup. If so, choose Yes. With the backup renamed, right-click on the backup and select Extract Files or Extract All. You'll be prompted with a window asking where you want the extracted files to appear. Simply click OK on this window and the folder containing your extracted backup files will appear on your desktop. This folder will have the same name as the backup you selected, though it will lack the .zip ending. Next, open the extracted backup folder and find the RPT data .dat file. Right-click on the file and select Copy. You will then return to your company data path. Right-click on any blank space in the window and select Paste. This will copy the report's data file from the backup to your current company data. You may now reopen your company in Sage 50 to verify that your custom reports are present and working correctly. If they are, you may delete the copy of your backup and the extracted backup folder from your desktop. This concludes our video on how to restore missing or damaged custom reports from a backup that was made when the reports were present and working, and how to do it without affecting your current company data. Thank you for watching this Sage 50 US edition demonstration.